Hello, everybody. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodman, and over there we got Christopher Drive. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the show. Dan, nice headphones, by the way. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585 <laughs> or visit um, their website Their website, at... hockeylockermilwaukee.com. All righty. Yeah, um, me and Dan were cracking jokes before we started recording. That's why he's giggling still, in case you're wondering. I also have jokes from a peanut gallery. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All righty. So today the uh, Florida Everblades took on the Orlando Solar Bears for the 982nd time now. Yeah, yeah, it feels like it, Donna. Um, hey, if I'm not mistaken, aren't we currently even with them as far as win-loss? I would not know. I'd have to go... Hey, don't worry about it. The next Everblade show will do that rundown. Yep. All right. Stats. That's your cue, Chris. Uh, let's see here. Well, in the first period, Orlando. Or that, Orlando. Orlando. Outshot, <laughs> yeah. Orlando <laughs> outshot Florida uh, 15 to 8 in the first. Florida outshot the Solar Bears 17 10 in the second. And Florida outshot the Solar Bears 19 8 in the third for a total of uh, 40. Four to thirty-three for the Everblades. They were getting a lot of pucks on net, but Orlando's goal was just in the zone today. All right, power play. Orlando was two for three. Florida zero oh for two. Yeah, there weren't a lot of penalties, so I wasn't really expecting too much there. Although Atwal was back there wanting to fight everybody like he typically is. Um, and uh, penalty minutes were six for the. Uh, Everblades and for for Orlando. Hey, what about the giveaways? It looked like there was a lot of giveaways in this game. It's a stat that the ECHL does not track. All right, because it looked like both teams gave the puck away a lot. It looked like there was a bunch of sloppy passes, and then a couple of passes got clearly intercepted, which is basically good defense. But it looked sloppy as far as the giveaway department. All right, so scoring first for the Everblades at the 231 mark was Evan Newgold. I guess he found gold in that stick of his because that was his first goal as an Everblade with an assist from Joe Pendenza and Tommy Martian. So stick tap to him. I don't got one to tap, so I'll just clap. I'm out too. <laughs> All right, Dan, um, next. Uh, then we have uh, at the fourteen fifty mark from the Orlando Solar Bears, we have Tristan Langen with an assist from Zach Androsky and or Andrewski um, and JJ Ponchinch. Uh, then uh, Orlando scored again. Both of these were power play goals at the seventeen. This one was at the seventeen fifty two mark. Uh, Jared D'Amigo scored with an assist from Aaron Luchuk and Mark Onk. Uh, second period. Nothing. Nothing. Third period, Tag Cozen got his first goal with the Orlando Solar Bears in 2018. He was Rookie of the Year in the ECHL with 50 goals. Um, he uh, was uh, assisted by Nolan Valu and Matthew Spencer at the 8-10 mark. Um, then at the 9-17 mark, uh, Tristan Langen scored with an assist from Jake Koffler and Aaron Luchuk for the Orlando Solar Bears. Then getting his first since his assignment from the uh, Binghamton Devils, Colby Sissons scored his first as an Everblade with an assist from Cole McDonald and Tommy Martian. So Tommy Martian had two assists. <clears throat> Uh, then uh, at the 18.43 mark, an empty net goal by Jake Koffler. In net was uh, Clint Windsor for Orlando, stopping 42 of 44. In net for the uh, Everblades was newcomer Boot House with uh, uh, 28 saves on 32 shots. Also had uh, the empty net allowed one goal. So, with all that being said, your three stars of the game are uh, uh, Kozen, 
Clint Windsor and Tristan Langan, all for the Orlando Solar Bears. Uh, attendance today at the Amway Center was 2,250. Um, Nolan Bloyer was your referee. Linesman Brady Fagan and Killian McNamara. Again, for the 30-something game in yeah, with think, the linesmen. Yeah, I think they tend to do that. Like, if uh, the two teams are going to play each other, like, three consecutive days, they just keep the referees. There's no sense in, like, flying in a different team for each game. All righty. So, other than that, um, we will be back later tonight with the um, Nashville Predators versus the Dallas Stars. So, what um, do you think the biggest issue in Florida is currently? In Florida? Yeah. What's their biggest issue as far injuries? as like why they're uh, falling? Really? Do they really have that many? Well, injuries there and. I mean, you think about it. Injuries. Well, you mean injuries within the system, not just the team itself? Yes. Uh -huh. Because they have five guys on IR. Nashville has six. Yeah. And, whenever... and Chicago has three of ours on IR already, too. So. Okay, yeah. Our system is getting hit with the injury bug. So damn it's not, it's not an, That just damn an... invisible hand needs to quit screwing crap up. It keeps punching players. Yeah, right? The invisible hand needs to go away. Anyway. I can't wait till later. Well, anyway, I we will see you guys later on tonight. Um, we hope that uh, we don't have to do... Let's see. This is will be our fifth video in three days later on. Can we get one win, please? <laughs> yeah, we're begging Anybody? You. We're begging you, Predators, get a victory. At least get one versus Dallas. Please I, mean, don't I, make I know me... Florida's going to snap out of it, but come on, Nashville. You can snap out of it, too. Nashville's going to turn me into Harry Doyle. <laughs> right? Getting <laughs> drunk on the air, letting F bombs slide. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, good old Thanks Wisconsin for reference watching. there for you. Thank you go for watching. To, don't go over to YouTube. And yep. subscribe and go over to Facebook. Give us a like and a follow. Uh, and thank you for watching our videos.